everyone. Brandon Burbank here, and I'm excited because it is October 24th here in Long Beach, California. And I wanted to take this time to do an annual reflection. And what I mean by that is over a year ago, I posted a video um, and it was about my one year reflection about being here in Southern California. So I'm actually at the two year mark. And so with that being said, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk with you all today about my two year reflection of um, successfully living in Southern California and everything that has came about and through this life journey, this, this experience of living in this part of the world, this part of the country, and trying to build success, build sustainability, build a life that's unique to myself as well as to God's plan for me. With that being said, I'm also going to go into a couple of perspectives around some of the concepts and trials and tribulations, the struggles, the unfortunate circumstances that have presented themselves in my life and how I've been able to really adapt as well as finding out my true unique gifts, unique talents, relying more on myself, relying more on my skill set, relying more on my God-given talents that will continue to help me live my life until I die. So there's a couple of quick uh, perspectives around this whole experience, year two, year, uh, year two of, of living in Southern California. Hindsight speaking, there's been a lot of changes, a lot of different um, occupations. Well, besides my business, of course, uh, working for Comeback to Success, which is still um, on the come up and on the rise here in America. And but also being focused on some of the aspects of my life, the journey that I've taken, um, the sacrifices that I've made in my life to get to this point. So I personally do give myself a lot of credit to all of the struggles, all of the sacrifices, calculated risks that I've taken uh, to get to myself to this point in my life today. And here on October 24th, it's, there's so many things that I can really appreciate in my journey. Um, for example, the various career occupations. I've worked at uh, Captech Pharmaceuticals and Cerritos, Ralph's and, Cer and Cerritos, um, Thunder Studios in, in Long Beach, um, Big Penny Car Wash in Artesia, California, Revolve or Eastridge Workforce Company in Cerritos, Dave's Hot Chicken in Seal Beach, Ralph's Seal Beach. So seven occupations in the past like two years. That's a lot. And But guess what? I did it because I believed in myself, because I have the grit, the talent, the ambition to be successful and live a life that's unique to myself and God's plan for me. And there's been a lot of struggles that have came through that. But specifically speaking, in this two-year period of my life here in Southern California, I have found that as life continued to progress, I had to start learning how to rely more on my own instincts, my own abilities, my own skill set, rather than asking other people for, you know, how should I live my life? How should I live my life? It's like, no, take a step back and start trusting your own personality, your own God-given abilities. And that's what's helped me make decisions in life that have been more calculated risks more sustainable but also on the longevity they'll i believe that they're going to pay back tenfold in the future some of those examples are choosing to continue to live in my residence here in in long beach another example not going to school not going to college and getting a bachelor's degree i had an opportunity to do that and i chose to pass it down because i was too focused on my business growth for comeback to success. Other another example, my trip to Nashville, Tennessee for my business, um, NSA Influence, and being a part of the Youth Leadership Conference and General Session at Influence really inspired me in so many ways to help to help myself, 
grow and then also to help my business and my customers change, um, inspire them through my products and services. There's so many other countless number of times where another example just I thought of was the fact that many times I've been able to do things on my own. And so what I mean by that is like going out by myself to enjoy, you know, have a fun night. It's okay to go out by yourself. It's okay to do things on your own. You don't need a group of people or friends to do everything. Now, I'm not saying that friends aren't important, but I'm just saying like finding abilities, finding opportunities, creating opportunities to do things that are more, that are more uh, for your calling, for your own purpose, for your own benefit, not just the benefit of other people. Because life gets hectic sometimes. And too many times I've seen in my past and in this life that I've lived, other people living lives, living their lives for others, not themselves. And so I think of the the saying, you have to put your mask on in the airplane before you can help the child. That's a perfect example of how a lot of us try and are trying to help other people, but we're, we're, we're neglecting ourselves. And a couple of other things about like my two year reflection of being here in Southern California, the financial, the financial struggle that it's taken me um, in my life. Um, it's hard. It's very, very, excuse me. It's very frustrating to, uh, to see the reality of how persistent I am and how humble I am of the fact that I've come from different perspectives of life. I've seen different life experiences that have provided me to see life from different lenses. Now, I treat that as a responsibility and a gift. And because of that power I have, I am fully aware of specific things I can do and say that will influence my customers, my follower base, my fans. As a result, there's certain things that I will say and do that will regardless be judged upon, that will regardless be looked down upon or praised, depending upon the person. And guess what, folks? That's the reality of life. Whether you have any successful business, where you have any successful follower base or any type of monetary gains or you know riches uh, and physical equivalency, that's the reality because we're all on this planet Earth today. And so I've re- I've recognized that and come to an understanding that not everybody's going to like who I am. Not everybody's going to accept who I am. And so as long as I'm content with who I am and, and believe that God is the one that will judge me ultimately, I'm fine. So in closing, uh, there's just a lot of other perspective I've, I've gained from this this experience here in California thus far. Now, I, I'm really excited because there's a lot of opportunities that's are, that are on the horizon, such as my speaking engagement this coming Saturday, um, uh, October 29th in Downey, California. So in preparation for this event, I've been doing a lot of practicing and PR, marketing. So all those things that are really vital for any type of follower-based influence um, as a professional speaker, I am, I'm putting in the work, folks. So I, I will not say that I'm not doing the best I can because every single day is a new opportunity. And, you know, the last thing I'll say about my reflection of year two here in Southern California is I've started to treat myself more gracefully, more peacefully, more positively than I have in my recent past. Uh, And also in my past in general, because of the fact that I've learned to adapt myself to my thought process, my perspective that has allowed me to have more freedom. So I have more information, more content, more experience and perspective that I can offer to my customers and fans. As a result, there's a lot of things that I would like to do to continue to grow my business, come back to success, expanding upon that as an entrepreneur and in closing, there's just a lot of things that I'm grateful for. And so I don't I don't look at the negatives as much as I look at the positives. 
uh, that are happening in my life because of the fact that I have a choice every single day of what I want to think about, what I want to believe in, and I choose to believe in myself. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and um, I hope you guys uh, found something to take away from this, and uh, please um, reach out to me or subscribe to my YouTube channel, social media, and um, Brandon Burbank is on the horizon. Um, that's That's the bottom line, so... Yeah. With that being said, have a good one.